Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to this Astro Chat episode which I have been planning to make for so many weeks and I just never got around to it. It is the discussion of why permaculture reminds me of Saturn and his movement through his own two houses of Capricorn and Aquarius, which of course we are in right now. It's going to go from 2020 to 2025. We're in the thick of it and I wanted to explore how all of this is a little bit like permaculture. Studying permaculture at this time is a really good thing to do because it'll give us ideas as to how we can navigate this time. So for those of you who know what permaculture is and what it's all about, you can skip ahead. I'm going to put skip ahead links. You can skip ahead to the bit where I talk about 2020 to 2025. Or you can stick around for the first two sections where I will tell you what is permaculture and the principles. I'm going to pick four principles of permaculture and talk you through those in such a way that you'll see how, yeah, how Saturnian in nature this permaculture thing is. So what is permaculture? Now, when I did a little bit of research on this, the definition that I found was it's a philosophy that's all about working with nature. And then I thought, well, could we be more specific? And I think we can. I think we can say that it's a practical philosophy that anyone can use in their garden to create an incredibly abundant, fruitful, productive garden. You know, you can use the techniques and ideas in this philosophy to make a wonderful garden in your home that produces lots of fresh fruits and veggies and all that kind of thing. So it was invented, this philosophy was invented by a couple of Australians, Bill Mollison and David Holmgren. Holmgren. And it also makes use of the wisdom of indigenous Australians. Now, this country has an incredible heritage of working, you know, with the land. The indigenous Australians do anyway. You know, I think um, the Westerners came and and they've got a different style, a very different way of farming. But if you look at what the indigenous people of this country know about, you know, how to tend the land, how to how to work the land, how to make it abundant, how to make it really fruitful. The indigenous Aboriginal people of this land are incredible. They have the very best wisdom. So this system has actually come out of their traditional wisdom, which is perfect because if you look at the history of Indigenous Aboriginal Australians, they knew the land inside out. So the other thing about this system is that it makes use of whole systems thinking. Now, doesn't that sound a bit Saturnian, right? Saturn is the place of all is one, you know, that you recognize that if I do something, it affects something over here. You know, you recognize that every little thing I do is affecting the whole and that we operate as one. Saturn will always bring us to that wisdom through tests and, you know, karma. He's the karmic accountant. He will make sure that you know that what you do definitely has an impact on other people, on the environment, on things around you. So, and that's something that Aboriginal Australians really knew. They knew that they were part of the land, right? Whereas Western farming came and it was like, well, we control the land or or we do what we want kind of thing. Um, What are some other examples of whole systems thinking? Well, we've got Ayurveda, which is a system of medicine in India, which is brilliant. And homeopathy as well. Homeopathy was devised by the Germans, and that's an incredible system of medicine which covers the whole body. It covers the physical body, the consciousness, the mind, emotions, everything, right? So these are incredibly sophisticated and intelligent systems that work brilliantly. Uh, The other thing about permaculture is that this isn't particularly anything new. Aristotle was talking about this, right? He was talking about this a long time ago. I'm going to give you a couple of quotes of his. One was that nature operates 
in the shortest way possible. So that's a great quote. And then the other one I've got is, the more perfect nature is, the fewer means it requires for operation. So both of those statements, they're very Saturnian in nature, aren't they? Saturn wants us to be very efficient. Saturn is not the planet of excess. Saturn is the planet of, you know, lean, the, yeah, the lean, mean working machine, right? That's Saturn's world. So let's take a look at some of the principles of permaculture. I picked four of the 12 principles that I'll talk you through because I thought these had quite a Saturnian feel to them. So I've got this one, observe and interact. So with this principle, what you do, and let's just take a square meter garden, okay? Nothing big, let's just take a small example that you're growing a herb garden. Maybe you discover that, okay, well, the mint actually really works well when it's sat beside the basil or the dill or the parsley or something. I don't know. Like over time, as you tend to this little square meter, you will start to optimize. You will observe. You will see, oh, this likes it when I do this. Okay, this thing likes it when I do that. Like, and you'll start to observe which ones like to be in a bit more shade, which ones need sun, etc., etc. You'll be able to tweak things and then you'll end up with an incredibly sophisticated system, but it requires observation, right? Now, the next principle I've got is obtain a yield. So this concept of, you know, your work must produce results, okay? That's really important. There shouldn't be you know, anything idle. I've just got that phrase pop into my mind. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. There we go. Isn't that interesting? That kind of fits in here because we've got the Capricorn, the devil, right? So, you know, and yes, the devil is here, but then the opposite is here too. When there's something negative, you've always got the, the positive present at the same time as well, right? So, um, yeah, interesting. Obtain a yield. Your, your work must produce results. So if we stick with the garden, it's like you want every square inch of that, you know, square meter or whatever it is that you're working with. You want every inch of that working, producing results. Nothing is empty or idle there. Produce no waste. Okay, so that's another thing. So in the produce no waste concept, if you harvest your your greens and your carrots and whatever well keep the tops of the carrots and, and keep the peels of the onions and keep everything and then you can compost that that goes straight back into the garden it makes the soil very rich and how wonderful you know you've got this incredible system and one of the other things that i jotted down was each natural system feeds off the other so all the systems they all interact and you begin to see that it's incredible right and the last principle I've got is use slow and small solutions. Doesn't that sound Saturnian? So slow, right? Saturn is very slow. And with that, he wants you to be intelligent, to be observational, and to incrementally keep improving things. So small solutions, a little bit at a time. You know, you're not gonna create this giant garden in one day. Uh, this is going to take a lot of time and this system acknowledges that this system has a place for the amount of time it'll take to make something extraordinary. So let's take a look at Saturn's movement in his own two houses from 2020 to 2025. How is this like permaculture? Is this time like permaculture? Well, I think it is because we're all being asked to discover the line. We're all being asked through this time to discover what is enough. Okay, so this is not a time of excess. This is not the summer sun. This is not Leo. This is not, you know, because, well, can Leo be wasteful? Leo can afford to be wasteful because there's infinity there. But here, that you will discover what is enough. 
Okay, so that's really important. That's why stoic wisdom and all this kind of thing, this is all right here. It's not, a, it's not a thing of riches. It's about you find your enough. You find that space of enough. So if we've got Saturn 2020, we've got 2025, we've got 22 to 23. Whoops. Oh, doesn't matter. You know that says 2023. We've got here 2020, 2025. This is the time span that we're working with here. Okay, so we're all working with what is enough. And I think the, the maximum force of contraction. So with Saturn, it's the energy is, it's not expansion, it's the opposite, it's contraction. Okay, and we contract back to the line of enough. Okay, so if I draw this out, it's kind of like the movement, like the the line, it, we're kind of hugging the line of enough. We've all come to this. And the point of maximum contraction is going to be the years 2022 to 2023. How does that manifest in the real world? How is that manifesting for all of us? How is this working? It's definitely, I'll give you an example of my life. How about that? I'll tell you about my life because I have definitely seen this working. So, contraction and I haven't yeah I haven't been expanding it's been difficult to expand actually um, my work I also have Saturn 12th from at the moment uh, 12 from my ascendant so um, yeah it's it's been difficult there has been loss it's been loss of energy loss of health all kinds of loss right so I was definitely experiencing this line here and this line of enough I'm kind of working with the minimums so I'm you know I've got a note here yeah how how do we see this working so for a lot of people I've got the notes here don't earn as much don't shop don't socialize as much don't travel without a purpose right so look at how this worked in my life so yeah I'm not um, in my place in England and see I don't think I'll be going back until 2025 that's really realistically, I think, the time when it will be, uh, you know, there will be energy for me to to return and, and, and carry on my life. But in the meantime, you know, I'm here and I'm earning, I'm earning enough. It's not excess, but it's enough, you see. And, you know, I am, I'm not quite living out of a suitcase, but some of you are in this situation. One of my dear friends in Bali, whom I was chatting with just on the weekend, it was so much fun. I was chatting with her and her husband, and they are living a wonderful, wonderful life in Bali. They're there, you know, for, and they, they will be there across this time, 2022 to 2023. And, you know, they're living a wonderful life, doing lots and lots of things. But they are, she told me that, well, we're actually living out of a suitcase. And she's like, you know, we have to pack up our things every day. And then each day, you know, we can spread out a bit, but then we have to pack up our things each day and like this. So they're in this space of, yeah, working with enough. They can't kind of spread out and excess or any of that. And it reminded me of me because I'm here and you know I have the same like jumpers you will see until 2025 right <laughs> and I'll have like the same tarot decks forever and I'm, you know it's like and I'm kind of I'm not quite living out of a suitcase but it's I'm living lean you know all my stuff is over there in England right I don't have any access to that I'm in this place of embracing what is enough and in the contraction is this like how is this? Well, there are benefits. So, okay, we don't earn as much, we don't shop, we don't socialize, we don't travel without purpose. And look, this, how this is playing out is that it's playing out as a pandemic, but it could have been something else and it would have been something else. Saturn coming into his own two houses with Pluto here. This is epic. This is a massive 
uh, opportunity really for total restructure and we are in that phase and I heard a finance guy he's pure finance he's not an astrologer not spiritual none of that just finance he said the world is going to be in a mess financially he said until 2026 and when I heard that I thought yeah because I, I think 2025 is the earliest that things are going to really you know we're going to see that upward momentum again we're going to see improvements so while there's all this contraction what is good about it is there are there good things about it absolutely there are a lot of good things about it so we can it's it's asking us to spend time on our own okay um, which is great a really good thing because you get to understand your own rhythms you get to know what it is that you want you know, if you shut out the outside world you'll hear your own voice you'll hear what it is that you want and it might be very different to what society wants of you or what your family wants of you okay and that's really important that we spend time to listen to that uh, we're also getting the opportunity to create systems that are going to last for the next 30 years okay so because yeah 30 year cycle right Saturn goes around he takes 30 years before he meets that same place where he last was so I've got the note here as well you yeah you get the unique opportunity during this time of incredible contraction you get the opportunity to redirect the future you can completely transform your life and that's why it's good to study something like permaculture because that is a philosophy that really gets you to think long term and it gets you to think what do I really want to create this time around um, so I've got the note here a permanent culture can be built now so permaculture it's permanent agriculture but it's also permanent culture that's it's a fusion of those two words so you can really transform your entire world at this time if you want to if you really want you can use these years to completely transform your career this is a very good time for that completely transform your career completely transform the way you live even your lifestyle how you do life this is the opportunity to completely change it's pretty incredible um, but we're going to have these expansion energies come on again and you think about it we're contracting to, to that line we're coming to that line but when it's time to expand out again that is going to be an incredible ride that is going to be absolutely amazing you think about how hard a lot of us have had to contract you know when we think about yeah like my friends in Bali you know and, and my friend telling me that I'm living out of a suitcase you know and we were laughing about it and it was amusing but you know I can imagine that yeah that that would be challenging that's hard and I'm not I'm not quite living out of a suitcase I at least have this room but like it is it is lean it's not you know I am missing certain books and certain things that I've got elsewhere and um it, I think it is going to be a while before I travel again so isn't that incredible guys but let's have a look oh this is 18 minutes wow this is a long video um, I think I'm going to leave this there but I hope this has been interesting to contemplate and do take a look at the video I'm going to share a video below as to um, what this permaculture thing is and I think what the young lady has designed in her garden is incredible and it's very inspiring and motivating and yeah we have the potential to create something amazing from here on and we are going to have that upswing energy where do we want that upswing energy to just naturally take us that's what we get to determine at this precious time that we're in so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know how you get on in the comments below I always love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time